Tell me something about your painting. I wanted to paint this stallion that I saw found at the BLM lands. He's um, has a quite uh, different kind of mane. They I usually look for the ones that look very wild and distinctive, and that I can bring out their expression in watercolor. So uh, things like the mane. Uh, my focus here in the background. I wanted him standing up on a cliff somewhere. I used uh, the purple against the yellow to create contrast and drama. Mm. Do you have any other horse paintings you've done? Yeah, I've uh, done, uh, I've done a few uh, wild ones. Uh, this wild ones, this the medicine horrors, that piece over there. Uh, that's uh, a, the red, a red stallion, and they all say something different to me. They say um, this one says, "I'll never let you ride me." Um, these over here, they're. They're a group of moving horses, and the one in the central figure, he's uh, uh, like a, you know, like the alpha male type. You can see uh, by the movement of the mane going back, it pushes them toward the viewer, and uh, also you can see his aggressiveness by the way he pushes into this, this horse here on the right. And the one below it, I wanted to paint him because it's so different from the other ones I painted. He looks like you could feed him an apple and he would come right up to you. Um, though I don't think I would because they are wild stallions. And well, wild, this one I think might have been a mare. I'm not sure. Do you like horses? I do. I, um, I, I grew up uh, doing a lot of outdoor type activities. I've ridden horses before, not, um, not in a pre professional level. I haven't been on a horse in a while, but I love them as an art form. So that's what intrigues me about them. They're so powerful yet graceful at the same time. Uh, I like painting anything really that moves um, dancers. Uh, people, that type of thing, uh, other animals. Uh, do you do you have a favorite type of horse? Um, you, probably the ones that are the quirkier, the better. Uh, this one here with the speckles that really, you know, the leopard spotted uh, Appaloosa. He really, uh, I thought that was something that would look kind of dramatic when it was painted. Um, uh, the ones with the contrasting manes. Um, and uh, also, it kind of depends on how well I photograph it maybe at the time, of uh, how the light hits the subject that's really important, whether it's mesmerizing, uh, alluring for me to want to paint it and to keep my uh, attention while I'm painting it. What's, what would be your favorite horse painting you have done? Well, so far it's been these three because uh, it's a little more complicated than just painting one horse. So Wild Ones has been my favorite so far. Um, second would be, uh, I would say, would have to be my most recent, which is the yellow stallion. And um, he just has such a different look about him. And I like that he's yellow, one of my favorite colors, the, and the radiance of him. He just kind of glows. Uh, do you have any other horse paintings? Uh, yeah, I do. I have. Um, I have some over here, and these are also from the BLM lands, and they are 
uh, this is a, this is a group of stallions, and they were being auctioned off in Norco. So um, in the background, there's a little bit of the landscape that brought them down from Ridgecrest from the BLM lands there, and this mark on the back means it's a stallion, and I like to portray the, the like the circular movement of them, kind of interacting with one another. I think watercolor um, does that rather well, if you can keep it flowing and moving, and do a uh, paint wet on wet, which is what I like to do, and kind of let happy mistakes happen. Hmm. I noticed that all these paintings are in watercolors. Do you only paint in watercolors? No, I do. I I paint. Um, uh, I do paint some oils. This is this is not an oil. This is a watercolor and canvas, which is a little different. Feels feels a little different. And then also I. I paint, I paint a lot of oil portraits, and this is one of my recent oil paintings called Dancing with Sugar Plums. It's uh, the Cynthia K. Dance, dancers in, out of Palm Desert. They do the Nutcracker Suite every year. Wow, that is beautiful. Well, thank you for this interview. I will be talking to you later. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I was wondering if you had any pictures on garden scenes. Well, this is one from our garden, and it's called First Love, and I wanted to portray the male and female uh, broad tails in front of this fuchsia plant that's uh, right outside our window that I, I kept noticing that they kept visiting, you know. Uh, throughout the day. So I, I like to portray things that are moving again the, with the wings and then uh, emphasize on things that are, are in focus as opposed to things that are blurred. I like the feeling of the movement of things that are more impressionistic. Wow. Do you have any other paintings? I have another garden scene over here. This is from a historic place in Yukaipa. Uh, it's, it's also on the Iris Festival tour. Iris Festival is held here in Yukaipa, um, below us, Oakland, part of Yukaipa. Casa de Carolina has these irises growing out of the out of their main fountain there in the courtyard, and I just love the way it felt like they were splashing out of the fountain, um, though there was no water in, in, the, in the fountain itself, just the way I painted it makes it feel, with the watercolor, makes it feel like it's splashing out of the fountain. Wow. Very beautiful. Thank you. Very beautiful. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>